Welcome True Seekers to the Tarot Temple here at Spirit Vibes. This forecast is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and on the cusp. Please be mindful to give likes, shares, comments, and to subscribe. And remember to press the notification button so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a video. Also, those things help to support not only the temple, but it honors the efforts of the producer. So now let's prepare for your work and money messages from Source for the week of October the 11th until October 17th. I pray it is beneficial. Please stay awake. Okay, talented ones, welcome back to your weekly work and money. I hope you're doing well. Um, I had some time off because I lost my mom. Um, she passed on the 24th of September. We laid her to rest on the 2nd of October. Um, it's been really difficult for me. So, again, um, like in my last recording, um, I'm still being triggered. You know. I'm sorry. Anything can cause it. I'm really trying to get past it. You know, the triggers. You can't get past losing your mom. Um, but it's hard. It is really hard. The whole situation has been really difficult for me and my, my siblings, um, particularly uh, my brother and my, my elder brother and my elder sister. Um, we didn't have an opportunity to share in our mother's life the way a lot of people do so you know I, we feel so robbed at least I do in a lot of ways when it came to my mom and her passing it's really difficult it really is so I haven't really been you know touching base with anybody except for my elder sister okay let's get your um overall word reference for this week is all my <laughs> all my i'm gonna sit that here so that you can meditate on that as we go through um your prophecies or your confirmations whatever resonates remember these are unified readings it can pertain to one person, it can pertain to everybody. It's no straight line here. I've learned that messages are eternal. Okay, I've learned that. I, I do pray for a specific week, but they can be eternal. It can be an eternal message because alignments circulate. Okay, so it's not the way I want it. I know generally people won't, but every now and again somebody will click on a past um, recording and realize it was just for them, okay, because it's their time around. All right, so now we're going to see what's going on with your work, money, and your possible romance. Okay, and just so you know, I decided to do the premieres last this time as opposed to first. So, um, you're getting these today, well, not the day that I'm recording it because I'm recording days ahead but um, the day that you get this which is Sunday you'll be able to view the premieres Monday okay all right talented ones the water barriers whichever one you refer to yourself as your overall energy is the five of pentacles and you have the queen of swords as your um, base energy you can expect the hair font stemming from the page of cups with an outcome of the ten of cups awesome conflict and a challenge and supportive energies we'll discuss momentarily you have the six of wands as um your underlying energy the first thing i heard was riding high um so you may be feeling really good right now victorious um standing out you stand out from the crowd okay um, from your co-workers from your peers from your neighbors from 
your family, you, you stand out from the crowd. You, 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 you're the unique one you're the, of the group, but this is, is as it appears in a group, okay? Not singularly, but within a group, you stand out, you lead, you know, um, you're victorious within a group, okay? Oh my, we're gonna see how that may or may not play out, but I'm sure it's gonna play out somehow, some way in your work and money week because we have work and money right here. Necessities is your overall energy here. Um, <clears throat> this could be you taking care of other people's needs, okay, whatever they are, you know, um, anything where you have to spend money on, okay? This could be simply going to the corner store this week to get what you need. You may be a little strapped this week, some of you, okay? You may be a little strapped. Others may be having to consider assistance. You know, um, charitable organizations may be something you may need to look into this week. It's okay. Um, we've all been under pressure. It's been a COVID epidemic. I don't know, is it an epidemic or a pandemic? It's one or the other. Either way, we've all been going through it. So this can also represent shutdowns, okay? Closings, all right? Overall shutdowns and closings based on the Queen of Swords. Now, some of you, um, this is your employer, the director. She gave you your walking papers based on your walking papers. Some of you, this is um, based on some direction that you've been giving, some advice that you've been giving. And I don't know, it's something that you know is true within yourself. It's like, it's, this is something you know that's true within yourself. those go together based on something so you are lacking based on something you know within yourself is true and that that can happen i can i can see that you can you can suffer for, for what you know is true you can you can okay okay that makes sense to me yeah because this is like um you, maybe you took a stance you know what i'm saying you took a stance based on something you know is right something you know is true Okay. And some of you are going to receive this help based on an open hand. You know, she has an open hand. You know, a lot of people consider her the tough cookie, but she really has a sweet heart. You know. Oftentimes, she wants to help people. She don't really want to see people suffer because she's suffered so much. You know, it doesn't feel good to see other people suffer. And then it's all stemming from small talk. Okay, small talk. Um, some of you are going to be, this could be... Someone youthful, young, young, a youth. Maybe this is your child came and told you something you need for, they need for school. Okay. Or they, your child came and told you, mom, I need it. Like, you know how it is when kids always have needs for school, right? When you ain't got no money. <laughs> yeah. This is also a pep talk. You had a pep talk right here based on um, some instruction, some guidance, some counsel, some type of advice, okay? So this can basically be about getting your necessities, okay? Knowing where to go to get it, knowing where to go get help, 
know where to go. Get saved. Being saved. Being saved. What is the um, reason source for this page of cups based on the Queen of Swords? But this is work and money October the 11th until October the 17th, please. Remember to give the temple some thumbs, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you very much. All right. Source, what is the reason? The Ten of Wands. Heavy, heavy. Heavy, heavy duty. With the Ten of Coins underneath. Okay, well, I did say earlier that this person did made a decision based on something she know was right. It may not be evident yet, but she knows it's right. It's right for her at least. And um, she had this packed up because of the, this heavy burden. It's a heavy burden on you. Or it will be a heavy burden on you. You know how you have a lot of heavy is the head that wears the crown. You know, um, kind of like that. The one that has all the responsibilities, too much is a lot of responsibility to this situation. You got a lot that you have to take care of. It's a lot to handle here. It's too much for some of you. And it's not that you don't mind because you know there the, there's a great outcome, but it's too much on you. Maybe too much on your body. It's too heavy on your body, maybe. So it's a lot. It's too. It's a lot to handle. So, <clears throat> but it's got to get done. It's a lot that has to get done. And for whatever reason, some of it has, it, the underlying energy is a connection. And it's funny, this card flew out with it, or behind it, which is the soulmate card. This looks like soulmates. It's soulmate energy underneath all of this. A, 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 a connection. It, this could even be referring to a serendipitous connection here. Okay, this could be a serendipitous connection. Definitely for some of you or somebody, this is based on a soulmate connection. I don't know if this soulmate left you strapped or if this soulmate gave you some information, you know, clued you in. Maybe you're helping this person, this youth that may be younger than you. This could be your child, your employer. Because it's a lot. It's a lot on you. It's a lot on you. So what can you expect this week? To, re to be or to remain committed. Okay? To just keep going. To show up at work every day. This is obligation. Okay? Uh -huh. Based on your schedule. Okay? Based on... Your based on direction. Some of you, this could be you just calling them up and sending that up, you know, making it happen, employing them to come and talk to you or for you to come and talk to them, making an appointment or whatnot. But it's definitely come from some information, some concrete information, some advice. So for some of you, you expect to have to, you know, uh, commit or submit. This could be some type of orientation. Because this, this is signing papers here. Some of you are going to be signing some papers. Okay. And then again, this looks so charitable churchy like you may be going to a church getting help who knows you know there's a lot of helpful organizations here 
is this, this is not a helpful organization. But I see an outcome. You're going to be pretty happy, pretty complete, pretty um, blessed, I might say. Okay. Um, some of you may be opening your doors and kicking it with family. But this is family. This is counting your blessings. And I'm also fulfilling a promise here. And the outcome, there's a promise fulfilled. I don't know if that's coming from you or someone else, but it, it, it's definitely a promise fulfilled. Maybe um, this promise fulfilled based on this person's word. This is a guarantee because she gives good advice. She can guarantee if you do this, go here and blase school. <laughs> it, it's going to work out for you. You're going to be, you're going to be okay. Okay. But the conflict is that six of cups. And that, that was the fly card. Remember I told you the card flew out behind this ten of pentacles? There it is again. It flew out. This is the sweet return. It's going back, coming back. You know, your sweet return. This could represent, your, again, a soulmate. This could represent your siblings. Um, that's the conflict this week. Going back to mama's house grandmama's house um some any your lover's house this is family family member house whatever feels like home is a conflict this week when it comes to your work money and a romance And for some, I'm hearing having to always come over there, you know, repeatedly is the conflict. So I don't know if it's like, I guess there you go. All my, you know, always having to come to my house is the conflict for some of you. Hmm, interesting. Let's see what's going to help you though. The nine of wands. Mm, I don't know. I don't know how to take that. Your supporter is the nine of wands. This is like watching out for somebody. So the conflict for some of you could be maybe they come a lot. I don't know. But what helps is that you know they're looking out for you they'll be waiting on you they'll protect you you know this is also about knowing when to make the right moves you know because this is almost like combat you know this is a militant type person you know Timing is everything, and that's what will help you. Knowing when to make a move. Timing is everything. Knowing when to strike out. You know, being on the lookout. You know, watching out for them. Because maybe they don't know where you are. Maybe they're unsure. Coming back. You know, picking it up again. Because this is repeated. This picking it up again, although it's not in reverse. But for it to be in conflict, it'll be about coming back again, you know, visiting again. That's a conflict. Maybe they don't know. They're unsure. Maybe maybe it's based on this truth teller. This because this person is very direct. They say what they say. They mean what they say. They speak their truth. Okay, they don't shy, she doesn't shy away from that. She stands on it and she'll back it up. Okay, so it may be that returning based on this truth or what this woman says, what based on the direction you've been given. This may be finding the spot. I don't know, this really doesn't make sense to me. 
but it does if you're looking out for them. Like, I'm, I'll be waiting on you to see. I'll be, you know, making sure you're okay. Whatever. I don't, I don't know what the hell that is. Let me go ahead and <laughs> see what your oracle is for this week. And then we'll get your total. You have the flower, bloom time, new mm, life, resurrection, rebirth. Counting your blessings, a reminder that life is good. You know, flowers remind you, baby box, boy, butt, okay? I don't know. Maybe your baby coming back, your soulmate. Fox boy, maybe somebody's having a baby. It's going to be a surprise. It's going to be a boy, but maybe you have some. I don't know. Only you would know. That's why I say bring your paper and pencil. Put your own stuff together. Let's see what your reflective is. For flower, dear source, what is the reflective for our beautiful, talented ones, our cup barriers? What's going on with the flower? This could be mean. This could also mean spring. So this could be about timing. That's that commitment again. All right. This is also like it's like a beginning, but it's not a beginning. <laughs> Starting fresh. Starting fresh. This is an obligation. Uh, obligation starting fresh that's what i'm getting starting fresh let's see what your um totem is and then i will dismiss the temple and thank you so much um pretending i can't believe i held in y'all i'll be breaking down <laughs> this is so good for me i need this work i really need it right now okay you have the giraffe as your totem Ooh, Bantu knots, giraffe. This could represent somebody tall in your life. Um, I don't know why I'm hearing nutrition, but I'm going to give it to you. So the flower can also mean appreciation, beauty of life, um, natural beauty, glowing, recognition. All right, and the giraffe can mean Africa. Africa keeps coming up. Gentleness, aspiration, peace loving, the highest heights, stature. Okay, and I already said very, very tall. And on that note, I'll leave it here. Talented ones and water barriers until next week. Remember to walk by faith and by sight. Until then, peace and more love.